What's up, big Operation iDroid here, and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to play Nintendo 64, PlayStation 1, Super Nintendo, and much more on your iOS device without a jailbreak or a computer. Now, the application we are gonna be using to do this is called Happy Chick, and many of you may have heard of it or even used it in the past, but recently it has received a few updates with some amazing new features. One of these new features is the ability to back up your saves online, which is amazing because as many of you may experience or have experienced, the application will suddenly stop opening and crash once Apple decides to revoke it. However, Happy Chick is always coming back and can be reinstalled days after it is revoked and you can restore your saves onto that new version of Happy Chick with this new feature. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to use this feature and many more in this complete guide to using the amazing Happy Chick emulator. I hope you all appreciate all the work I put into this video and if you find it helpful, then please hit that like button as it helps out the video tremendously and I truly appreciate it. But now, without any further ado, let's head into the tutorial. Alright, getting Happy Chick is really simple, but this video is going to focus more on how to use Happy Chick as the application is in mostly Chinese and a little hard to navigate. But of course, first you'll need Happy Chick. So to install Happy Chick, all you have to do is open Safari, type in the URL iEmulators.com, and upon arriving at the website, click on the app section and then scroll all the way down until you see Happy Chick. Once you click on that, go ahead and select download page, which will take you to Happy Chick's dedicated download page where you can scroll down to the bottom again, select Happy Chick, and then go through the install prompts. And if you have a free second, don't forget to subscribe to my channel as I make awesome tutorials like this one every week and I really appreciate it. So once you finally hit the last install prompt, Happy Chick will begin to install on your home screen. Now, Happy Chick may not install for you and that is because Apple revoked it and you'll know that it did not install for you because it'll say unable to download app. And if this happens, just try downloading Happy Chick again in a couple of days and hopefully it'll install for you. Once Happy Chick does install for you, when you try to open it, it'll say unable to open untrusted enterprise certificate. So if it says untrusted enterprise developer, what you wanna do is head to your settings, scroll down to general, and then scroll down to profiles and device management, or yours might just say device management. Go to enterprise apps at the bottom, select the certificate for Happy Chick, and then hit trust. Once you've done this, you will now have access to the Happy Chick application. When you open Happy Chick, it'll tell you to agree to the disclaimer. Just go ahead and agree. And then it may tell you that it needs to update. Go ahead and click cancel as unfortunately you can't get the latest version of Happy Chick, which is even better than this one. But maybe I'll be showing you how to do that in another video. But as you can see, if you select category at the bottom left, these are all the emulators that Happy Chick emulates, which is over 11 consoles and is awesome. So to get a game for these consoles, all you have to do is select one of them. And here you can see all the games that Happy Chick has for you to download within the application. And you can just go ahead and download any game. Um, when you do click obtain to download a game, it'll ask you to enter your email. You can enter it if you want, or you can just select skip and then hit download. You can see the progress of any game you're downloading by hitting the little down arrow at the top right hand corner and Happy Chick games will even continue to download if you're not in the application. But if you lock your phone, the download will stop. So you can exit the application and do other things and your download will continue. Anyways, you can also search for any game you'd like by using the search tab at the top left. You can also filter by clicking on the top right for any specific console that you'd like and you can download any game that you see there that you'd like. And if you don't see a game that you'd like on Happy Chick, the only way to get it into Happy Chick would be with a computer. And I know a lot of you don't have computers, so I'm sorry about that, but Happy Chick does have a huge library of games that I'm sure you'd enjoy and like to try out. You can see all the games that you've downloaded by going to My Games in the middle. And then to play, all you have to do is hit play. It'll tell you to begin with a single or archive if it's the first time you're playing the game. Go ahead and hit single. 
Now, Happy Chick has three different interfaces that are available. So for Nintendo 64 games and PlayStation 1 games, this is the interface that you'll see here. Um, and to get your controls to the bottom screen, if you're playing on portrait, you want to hit that little circular arrow at the left. If you want to switch between the D-pad and the control pad, all you have to do is click the plus sign or the circle on the right. And then if you want to enter the menu, do not use the menu that is the retro arc icon or the, plus, the gear at the bottom. The menu you want to use is by clicking at the top of your screen, um, which will take you to the settings here. These are the best settings to use. Um, here you can save state and load state, which is basically saves. This is how you want to save in Happy Chick. So at any time, if you want to save and exit Happy Chick, just hit save state. And when you return to Happy Chick, all you have to do is load your state and it'll take you exactly to where you hit save state. You can also play in landscape by selecting lock orientation to landscape, which is amazing for pretty much every emulator on Happy Chick except for Nintendo DS which is meant to be played in portrait. So as you can see when you're playing in landscape in Nintendo 64 it looks really nice of course you want to get the controls to full screen by clicking that little circular arrow and it runs pretty well and that is the Nintendo 64 interface that is the same on PlayStation 1 as well. So speaking of Nintendo 64, PlayStation 1, as well as Nintendo DS and PSP require a higher device like an iPhone 6s or above in order to run those emulators at full speed. If you're running anything below that, unfortunately they will lag and I'm sorry about them. And of course, PSP games and PlayStation 1 games are much bigger than any other game that you'll download on Happy Chick, so it will take longer to download those games. But of course, you can always exit Happy Chick and do other stuff while they're downloading. Finally, what I want to show you is how to manage your save so that if Happy Chick is ever revoked, you can upload them and store them online. So if you go to me and then go to save states manage, make sure to read all of the info because there's a ton of great information there that you should probably read. Um, and here you'll be able to upload your saves to a cloud, but first you need to bind it to something so that you can log in and get those saves in the future. So if you click on your little icon when you're at the me section, you can bind it by using your phone number, email, QQ, or WeChat. I highly recommend that you use WeChat. It's a free application you download from the app store that's linked to your phone number. And once you bind it to WeChat, if you ever need to sign in again, as you're going to see, I'm going to do here. When you click on change to sign in, you select WeChat and then it'll automatically open WeChat. It'll load and it'll ask you for permission. You click OK and just like that, it'll know that you are in your account from before because of WeChat and you'll have all your saves back and it's the easiest way to log in in my opinion. So binding via WeChat is the best, but of course you can do it any other way. It is up to you. So now when I head back to saved states manage, I can restore the saves that I uploaded. So by hitting the restore button, it'll begin to download all of my saves. I'm gonna go ahead and overwrite the Pokemon Stadium save that I have because I have other Pokemon Stadium saves that I saved in the future. And it'll only download the saves of the games that you currently have downloaded. I have a ton of other saves uh, backed up online, but because I haven't downloaded the games yet, it won't download the saves. So make sure to download your games first and then restore your saves. So once you've done that, um, you can just go ahead and enjoy your games. As you can see here, when I select Dragon Ball Advanced Adventure, if I want to load from a save state, I'll select Archive and it'll show me all the save states that I have. And then I can continue my play from where I was before without having to restart from the beginning. Now, since we're playing a Game Boy Advance game, you're looking at the most common interface in Happy Chick and it's actually really easy to use. To open the menu, you just have to click the four squares at the bottom. And all the settings are pretty self-explanatory. You can actually adjust the size of the buttons by hitting key adjustment. But if you're playing uh, Game Boy Advance, you can switch to the original GBA for iOS controls in the advanced settings if you'd like. Additionally, you can also save state, load state, look at your files, fast forward, a ton of awesome stuff that I'm sure you all know how to use. And then finally, what I want to show you is PSP because there's one setting that you need to turn on in order for your PSP games to run much more smoother and look nicer. So right now, if you head into the settings of P PSP by hitting the top of the screen, just as you would with Nintendo 64 or PlayStation 1, it'll take you here. 
um, and what you want to do is scroll down to the bottom and turn on the frames per second so that you can see just how fast your game is running as well as the rendering resolution you can actually bump it up from the original uh, PSP resolution I like to bump it up to three without affecting my FPS and then of course turn on show FPS counter and as you can see the resolution of the game actually just like got a lot better it's crazy how it can do that it looks so much nicer now but as you can see when I'm not moving the game is running at full speed but as soon as I start to move um, you can tell that it just slows down as well as looking at the FPS counter at the top right is definitely going slower but you can easily speed up your PSP games by turning on just one setting. So if you go to settings, then click system, uh, you want to turn on multi-thread experimental. Now it will say that it might crash PSP some more. I actually haven't experienced any crashes. It just made it faster. As you can see, I'm now running at full speed um, with the resolution bumped up three times. Um, if it's still running slow for you, you can actually lower the resolution to get some better results. But as you can see, PSP games are running great. I'm using an iPhone 6S, um, not even the latest iPhone 7, and it's running great. And that is it. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then please hit that like button as it helps out the video tremendously, and I truly appreciate it. As well as comment down below, which emulator are you gonna be playing most in Happy Chick? I'd love to know what you all have to say as I read all the comments. And finally, if you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe by clicking on my icon on screen now. And by subscribing, you'll be notified whenever I upload a video, which I upload videos every week. So I hope you're excited for those and check out some of my other videos on screen now. And as always, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and welcome to the operation.